So yeah, the game is just finished. I've turned it off because I don't listen to the pundits. I listen to myself and said, <laughs> I'm my own pundit. I said that before. Um, but yeah, England are through. They're going to face Senegal on Sunday at 7 p.m. Then the Netherlands will face USA. They're beating Iran 1 0. I feel sorry for Wales. They first woke up in, what, 58 years or whatever it is. And um, I am part Welsh, so I do feel sorry for them. But obviously, I'm, I'm my affiliation with England. I mean, I just don't have, to, don't have it with Wales. In a way, I have it more with India. If India were in it, if it was India versus Wales, I'll support India more than Wales. I have, I have more of an affiliation with India, and they're not even in the World Cup. But um, yeah, fair play to um, fair play to Wales for giving, putting up a fight. But England won 3 0. No, England were the better side. I think they had like 70% possession when I tuned in, like 75% of the first half. And then they had like 10 shots on target to, or 10 shots in total to. Um, when I was just like one or two, so I think England were the better team and they did they, dominate possession, much better than the USA game. I caught one goal, I missed two. It's funny because I tuned in just at the beginning of the second half, but it is what it is. But um, I'm happy. Like I said, football is going to be an antidote to all the conflict happening in the world. And like I said, with Qatar and even with Iran and stuff that's happening there, you know, you're trying to fight discrimination. I just wish they weren't advertising McDonald's and advertising McPlant because obviously discrimination is in that as well. Discriminate against what animal you eat and whatever. Anyway, let's not talk about that. I'm talking about England and them very, very well. For their country and uh, to the last 16, I, I expect them with all, with all condolences and respects to Senegal, who are a really good team for West Africa. I think England are going to go through and face France or Australia, I think. Not France or Australia, France or Argentina. Australia are in the mix as well, but I think it's going to be France or Argentina in the quarterfinal, potentially. That could be Messi versus England, isn't it? I hope it's Argentina, isn't it? France, I don't know. Whatever, isn't it? Should get a fade there, like Mbappe, but he's got quite curly hair. So I've got different hair types. That's why he has a really tight hair type. Because I don't know, whatever. Anyway, but yeah, well done, England. Done your nation proud. And I just can't wait till Sunday. Senegal, bring it on, baby. Peter's going back a bit now.